just arrived at Opejita's 90,000 acre conservancy in Kenya for two weeks of flight testing. We're testing three vehicles, including conventional fixed wing and flying wing aircraft. Look at that. <laughs> Our goal is that two ranges can easily carry, set up, and launch the drone with limited infrastructure. The ranger can easily configure a flight plan using a simple mapping interface and launch a flight that is autonomous from launch to recovery. They can also direct the vehicle where to fly and what to look at once airborne. So you're planning a mission? Yep, we're here right there on the uh, airstrip, um, starting adding waypoints. We're going to fly 100 meters AGL. Here we're going to do a bungee launch and fly beyond line of sight in order to test both the range of real-time digital video and contingency plans for loss of communications. All right, in three, two, one, launch. That looks really good. So voltage, everything's looking really great. We're gonna try a loiter circle at a slightly higher altitude. See if we can get some better imagery staring straight down. So we found a, uh, what appears to be a herd of cattle, sort of near the water tank. The next time we come around it, we're gonna hang around the loiter above it and see if we can stay at it for a bit. Operating both day and night, the drone sends real-time digital video and thermal imaging feeds of animals and potential poachers to rangers on the ground using both fixed and gimbal mounted cameras. This technology will make it possible for the Conservancy to conduct the wildlife census more frequently and at a fraction of the cost, providing more reliable data for managing its animal population. We have the terrain data in here, so when you plan a mission it shows you if, um, you know, if you're too close to the ground. So this is our airstrip being overtaken by about 50 baboons. Our airplane is now coming back from a six and a half kilometer, 35 minute flight. <laughs> 